Hey guys, today I would like to show you how to replace one of the most important equipment for evacuation of the passengers during emergency, and that is door escape slide. So let's take a look at it. First of all, I need to remove this decorative cover and install safety pin, which is here on the side in the pocket. This way I will prevent any unwanted deployment during replacement. Replacement of the slide on A320 is a bit more complex like for example on Boeing 737 because it has several safety features to prevent unwanted deployment from the inside or outside during normal operation. Now I need to pull CBs. Always follow AMM because there is so many configuration of A320 and each of them can have the CBs in different position. Next step is the activation of door damper and emergency operational cylinder. To perform it, we need to install safety pin and disengage striker lever. Striker lever hold on position with knurled screw and that one is secured with a locking wire. So first of all we need to remove this locking wire. Then we need to lose the knurled screw. And then push the striker lever to disarm position and tight again the knurled screw. Now we are sure the door damper been deactivated and we can proceed with the removal of the slide. So let's continue. We need to close the door and set arm lever to the arm position. This way you will disengage third bar from the door and secure it in the door frame. When doors are armed, we need to slowly open the doors and release the gear bar from the door frame pulse by pushing them down and pulling the gear bar out. Whenever gear bar is out, close the door and put them in disarm position again. Slide hold on position on two hooks on the bottom and two bolts on the top corners. When bolts are out, we need to remove connector which supply slide lights and control pressure in the slide cylinder. To remove the slide, you just simply lift it from the support. Be careful, slide weight around 25 kilograms. Now I need to remove the gear bar from the slide because it's part of the aircraft, not part of the slide. And of course, I'm going to need to install it on the new slide. One tip for you, mark ends of the gear bar. So that way you will save time during adjustment of the gear bar on the new slide. So. How to remove it? You need to open the cover, pull out the parachute pin and remove lace-up joints. Then you just simply take out the girt bar and of course don't forget to remove mooring line. Now all you need to do is just close the cover and take it out of the airplane. This was all about removal. And now we can proceed with preparation for installation of the new slide. First thing is inspection. Of course, before I cross check the part number and serial number with EASA Form 1. And now I'll inspect slide itself if it have all components and it's ready for installation. So let's take a look what you need to inspect. The parachute pin if it is in good condition, if the loops are okay, if the safety pin is installed and the slide is secured, you need to check the pressure of the slide. And of course, if connector is in good condition. As a first, we need to install harness. Slide is interchangeable. It can be installed on the left door or the right door. But the cable need to be always installed under the sign for exact door. Let me tell you why it is like this. When you open the right door, the doors will move to the left and harness will follow the door. So if you install harness on the left side, the cable will block the escape path, which can be really dangerous in such a situation. Next step is installation of the girt bar. As a first, we need to attach a mooring line. And how to do it? Make a loop adjacent to the loop at the end of the mooring line. Then push open loop through the loop at the end of the mooring line and push the girt bar through and make sure that loop is on the left side of the girt bar. 
I can place gerbar on position and because of the markings now I'm not gonna have a problems with adjustment. As a next step I need to pull all cord loops attached to the long gird flap through the grommets in the short gird flap. Then I also attach temporary tie to the small loop and pull it as well through the grommet. We need to secure the gird bar on position. So how to do it? We start on each end of the gird assembly and we pull each cord loop through the adjacent cord loop until we get to the center. And for this I'm using most of the time screwdriver because as you can see to pull the loop through the each other is quite hard. When we get to the center, we need to install handle loop on the small loop. This is basically the hardest part of the installation of gear bar. Basically, we need to install side loops on the small loop in the center. For this, I'm again using screwdriver. I'm pushing it through the long loop and the small loop and by rotation, I'm placing the long loop on the small loop. And I will use the same procedure for the other side. So with temporary time, I'm holding the small loop I'm pushing screwdriver through the long one and again through the small and by rotation of screwdriver I'm placing the long one on the small. Now I can remove the screwdriver and by holding temporary tie I'll push parachute pin through the small loop. Then I remove temporary tie because we're not gonna need it anymore. I need to safety the parachute pin on position with nylon thread. First step is cow hitch on the end of the parachute pin. Then we need to make three half hitches directly behind the small loop. Then three half hitches on the wider section of the parachute pin. and square knot on the end. By the way, if slide doesn't inflate automatically, you can use the red lever on the left side. Whenever you pull it, it will trigger mechanism which will inflate the slide. Now all what's remaining is install the cover. And we can place a slide on the supports. Again, the slide weighed around 25 kilograms, so be ready for that. Then I need to install connector. Sometimes it's quite hard to find a socket for it, so you just need to have a little bit more patience. Whenever you are sure that connector is in place, you can install the bolts, one on each side of the slide. And as always, I'll tie the bolts to exact torque value. Now we need to install the gird bar. So we will arm the door and slowly open them. 
And now all what I need to do is to push the girt bar into the floor fittings until the spring poles are engaged. Now I need to close the door and I need to be sure that the control shaft levers correctly engage with the holes in the girt bar. And whenever I'm sure that everything is okay, I can disarm the door and slowly open them. During opening I need to be sure that girt bar engage correctly with the telescopic forks of the door structure. When I see that everything is okay, I will close the door again and perform the whole procedure one more time, just to be sure. I also need to cross check if the floor indicator moves to the arm position and through the disarm position. Whenever everything is okay, I will install the safety pin and we can proceed to the test. So first of all, we need to close all CBs. Now, my colleague will gonna operate the doors in the back and I'm checking indication on FAP and on the ECAM. I also need to perform test of emergency lights and operational test of inflation reservoir monitoring. Whenever all this is okay, I need to remove the locking pin from the regulator valve assembly and stow it in the stowage pocket on the side of the slide. Now we will install the decorative cover. It has two spring-loaded pins on the top and two spring-loaded holders on the sides. Whenever decorative cover is installed, I need to cross-check if arming indicator on the floor is visible and if the gauge of the slide is readable. And all what is remaining is activation of emergency operational cylinder. So I'll again lose the knurled screw, move the striking lever into arm position and tie the knurled screw back on. Whenever knurled screw is tight, I need to secure it with a lock fire. Whenever this is done, I'll just remove the safety pin. So this is all what I want to show you guys today. I made this video for easier understanding of the manual. Please don't use it as a relevant source for replacement. Always follow your AMM. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe because a lot of new content is coming. I'll be very happy for any feedback from you guys. So if you have any kind of questions, please write them in the comment section and I'll try to answer you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.